back to the software testing tips and tricks channel so in this video we will talk about how to integrate playwright test in the github so playwright by default supports multiple uh, continuous integration tools like uh, github actions docker azure uh, circle ci jenkins so most of the popular tools are supported by the playwright so you can integrate your playwright test using this and you can run in uh, ci environments so in this video we will talk about github actions so let's start so first of all what all things we need to do is we need to create uh, one repo so let's start uh, creating one repo in the github X. so i am creating new repo so i am explaining from the scratch so you can get all the concepts so please watch this video till the end so i am giving repository name as uh, ci demo underscore playwright and uh, keeping description and everything empty and just creating repository so now my repository created this is blank one so i am just checking blank repository at our uh, in my place and uh, then we can move ahead so let's uh, open terminal and go to cd desktop and uh, i am cloning here so this is command git clone and you can provide that link here so it has cloned my ci demo if you have don't have git installed then first you need to configure the git in your system so mostly uh, you just need to install a uh, git in your system so it will automatically run so now i i am able to clone that so that repository is cloned now i can go to the my vs code and open folder and here uh, this ci demo playwright so this is completely empty and i am just trusting the author so i got this now i just need to open terminal and in terminal i am installing playwright first so npm install make sure you have node and everything installed before that npm init playwright at the rate latest so i am installing latest playwright now using typescript yes where to push the end to end test yes test in folder yes i want to install github actions workflow so you need to keep it true else you need to configure it manually if you pu uh, put uh, true in this github action workflow it will automatically set up your uh, all the file that is required to run github action workflow and uh, install playwright now so it got installed so you can see like in github you can see like playwright.yml is created and uh, this is this will run your workflow also what i need to do is now uh, we can create one readme file as well so we can copy and paste uh, all this so it will create one readme file in this so uh, we can <laughs> run one by one so i think uh, we go it will create a readme file now readme file is created git init to initialize the git now what i need to do uh, we need to add in the git add command so i am adding everything like all the file we have created right we have created uh, this file test and all so in uh, we can do is git add and put dot so when you put dot it will add all the files if you give file name like readme dot uh, md then it will uh, add only readme file but uh, if you put dot it will uh, add everything and uh, i am doing my first commit so i am committing all these files are created by the playwright and now we need to create main branch so it will go to main branch and uh, we can add origin is already added so we did need not to create that because we have created this uh, function now we need just need to push it so we have posted and yes it is uh, up to date now we can go to here and just refresh it 
so we got the code here and we got uh, this uh, readme file it created twice because we run that two times now in the actions you can see like already it got uh, started running so my first commit started running and you can see like how it is running so it has set up the job run action checkout install dependencies install player play browsers it is installing it will take some time but not that much time so we can watch it but if your project is very large then it will run for 15 to 20 minutes sometimes 30 minutes as well so it will keep on running in background so you don't need to worry about and you can do your work so this is uh, getting installed now so by the time this is installing let's uh, understand what is there in the yml file so because of this file it is running there so by default this is created i didn't edit it anything when i installed uh, github with uh, uh, github true playwright with uh, this get uh, action workflow true it got generated so in push uh, it will like when you push it it will automatically run like when you push in, in main or master branch uh, it will automatically run and a pull request like when you pull request from main or master branch it will automatically run so we have pushed or written uh, lastly like we have pushed all the our commit and it started running so by default we can set the timeout is 60 minutes uh, and uh, it automatically runs on ubuntu latest so uh, even in three trial version i can run on ubuntu latest that is great from github and uh, in steps what we can uh, do is like uh, first of all we need to check out our code first so every time it runs on latest code and we need to set up our node so it will set up node version uh, and uh, we can see like it's a star so we can use the uh, latest version and we can install the dependencies like uh, npm ci that will install ci and then install playwright browser so all the commands which we need to install right for playwright it will do and uh, it will run playwright now and uh, once it is done it, this is uh, user it create and if always this is a name playwright report and report will be generated and you can see the report so by default this uh, this file is get generated now if you see this it's, it has run everything and uh, we had default test uh, in our uh, file so it will run that default test example spec.ts so we can uh, see like what all things it has run in uh, run playwright test so it has running six te tests using one worker and all six got passed so you can get report here as well like uh, here you can see playwright report is created it will be downloaded in zip file and uh, you can open it and uh, see it so it will looks like whatever we see in our uh, local as local only so it has created and you see it is like this so it has created that and you can check logs here as well now uh, the main problem is like uh, if i want to run this manually right so we don't see run button manually so to do that what we need to do is uh, we need to add uh, here uh, like this one command in uh, player id action is like when to run it so here we need to define like i want to run it uh, uh, manually put this workflow uh, on dispatch and uh, so now i need to commit it so i am just committing uh, by changes we had added this workflow underscore dispatch to get that uh, run manually button now uh, this is again got this updated yml file so when you go to actions now playwright test you can see this now button run workflow and from here you can select branch whatever branch you want to run and run workflow so if you are working in local branch then you can so select your local branch and test that like if it is working with local branch or not and once you are make sure like it is working with local branch you can uh, push it to main so this is how it is running now
now like if you want to schedule it uh, uh, on your uh, daily run right so most of the companies what they do is they run your uh, playwright test uh, every day in the morning to make sure like all things going smooth so you can also doing that by using uh, this like schedule command so in schedule you can provide like how many times you want to run so uh, here like you can uh, give like this cron and uh, this first is meet so 30 meet and this is our so it will run every day 5 30 and this is like uh, day of the month here it is specified like which day you want to run star means every day and which month you want to run so star means every month and here you can provide uh, weekdays like if i provide one three and two four then that means like it will run only on that days so if you provide one five that means it runs on uh, weekdays only and weekend it won't run so something like that you can zero means sunday and uh, six means saturday so if you provide one five uh, and comma means that day only run and if you provide days then it will run uh, for one to five days so like uh, here we have done like so to understand this uh, here i have given so in schedule you can see like 0 9 that means morning 9 o'clock and uh, 0 15 that means uh, 3 o'clock in the afternoon it will run uh, uh, that time star means every day and this star means every month and one day 5 means monday to friday and saturday sunday it won't run so i don't want to take headache on the weekends <laughs> so yeah it will uh, run on weekdays only if i have provided the comma in between 1 and 5 then it would run on monday and friday only and it won't run any other day so days means it gives the range so this is how you can schedule your playwright uh, test on the github actions so if you have any doubt feel free to ask and uh, please subscribe this channel and also follow us on social media links are given in the description where i used to share funny memes and will share more so thank you